Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to my Apple iPad review. I know everybody else has done a review on an Apple iPad, so I thought I'd do it, except I'd cover pretty much only the things that everybody else doesn't cover. Here, I'm going to go over the pros, the cons, and how to set some things up that you might not know. First off, what's great? Screen is beautiful. It's just fabulous. It's easy to set up your email, calendar, contacts, as well as transfer all of your iPod apps or iPhone apps. It does it automatically. Right here within iTunes is where you would be able to set up what information you wanted to be transferred directly to your iPad. So what you would do is go into the contacts area, click that, calendars, you could sync your mail accounts, do whatever you'd like, and then click sync and it would automatically transfer all of that information, being your contacts, calendars, and emails directly over into your iPad, so you don't have to do anything. Okay, so here's the iPad screen. Sorry, it's a little blurry. I'm gonna zoom in here on settings, click on settings, then come over here, click on mail, contacts, calendars. To set up your new account, you just click on add account. Then, if you have one of these, being Microsoft Exchange, Mobile Me, Gmail, Yahoo, or AOL, you click on them or other. And then just click on add mail account. Type in your name, address, password, description, and then hit save. And I tried this on Gmail accounts, GoDaddy, privately hosted websites, a whole bunch of things. It automatically always syncs. Great. Thirdly, my lap's a lot cooler. This guy doesn't seem to put out any heat at all, which to me is absolutely amazing. Very intuitive interface. If you ever use an iPod or an iPhone, you will know how to use it. Been to an Apple store, watch people use the iPad, and even if they didn't have an iPod or an iPhone, it seems that they were e easily able to pick it up and just start using it. And finally, makes the apps Air Video, TweetDeck, and YouTube absolutely amazing. Air Video is one of the coolest apps available on the iPad. It was previously available on the iPod, but now with a giant screen, it's an even better tool. To get it, you just go to inmethod.com forward slash air dash video and click on download. Then you would pick based off if you have a Mac or a PC platform. Works on both of them. After you install it, which is quite simple, this little bugger up here shows up on your screen. You want to go in here, click on server preferences, then come, you'd click on shared folder, server running yes. You can take any movie you have on your computer then and stream it directly to the iPad. Quite simply. So you just find it. Say I want to transfer over Battlestar Galactica. I select the folder, click open, and it's available. Just like that. And it will automatically convert file formats. That's what makes it such a great app. Then you have Air Video. I click on that. What it allows you to do is to go in to any computer you have that has movies on it and watch those movies right on your iPad which saves a ton of space. What it'll also do is automatically convert into a file format that works on iPad. And you can see here, it's loading up Battlestar Galactica for you. We are at war. Here is iBooks, click on that. I know you probably saw this, but there's a lot of information. Maybe you didn't know that you get a free Winnie the Pooh book, but <laughs> there's Winnie the Pooh. And I heard a lot of bad information in regards to there not being a lot of books available. Well, I sat here on purpose and typed in a ton of books. Here I typed in Lord of the Rings, and you can see here, a whole bunch of different versions of Lord of the Rings is available. I typed in tons of books. Everything seems to be available as far as I can tell. If you tell. look down here, New York Times bestsellers, click on that. You'll see here a whole bunch of New York Times bestsellers that are available to you. Another really amazing thing you can do with iBooks is if you type in Project Gutenberg, like I have right here, you will see a world of free books. There are tons of them. Many of them, some of the best books ever written. And you can click through. This is called the Project Gutenberg Project. Something like that. <laughs> and I think that's absolutely amazing. Just another really great thing about the iPad. Well that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. Till next time.